Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the wildly popular game show, Can You Prove It? Welcome to our contestants. Welcome to our studio audience. <laughs> and welcome to those of you playing at home. The topic for today's show is suffixes. This is how we'll play. When we reveal the target word, each contestant must identify the suffix. The contestant that offers the most evidence to support their answer will be the winner. Are we ready to play? Yes, yes let's, let's begin. begin. Let's reveal the first word. The word is tension. Let's begin with contestant number one. Well, in this word, the suffix is obviously S-I-O-N. I mean, just listen to how you say the word, ten shun. That proves it, right? Woo! Contestant two, what do you have to say? Well, I think the suffix here is I-O-N. Just look at my wood sum. If I peel off the I-O-N, I'm left with the base word T-E-N-S-E. -E. The base word tense, and tension, both show meaning of being stretched tight, and I think the suffix here is I-O-N. Woo! to this one over to the judges. Well, we've been thinking very carefully about the evidence provided by each our two contestants. If we are worse for each, this is what we see. Contestant one claims that the base is T-E-N and the suffix is S-I-O-N. Contestant two claims that the base is T-E-N-S-E and the suffix is I-O-N. With contestant one's words, um, the base T-E-N doesn't really share meaning with the word tension. But with contestant two's word sum, the base T E N S E does share meaning with the word tension. Now let's see what would happen if we added other suffixes to these bases. With the base word T E N S E, we can add the suffixes I O N, I N G, E S, and E D, creating the words tension, tensing, tenses, and tensed. And with the vowel suffix E, I mean with the vowel suffixes, the single silent E would be dropped. And all of these words share meaning with the base word tense. If the base is T-E-N -E as contestant one claims, adding the other suffixes, we would have a problem. As adding S-I-O-N and other suffixes, we would have tension, tenning, tense, and tend. But none of these words share the same meaning as ten. What a mess! I think it's been proven that the S is part of the base and not the suffix. I think the winner of round one is contestant two. Well, congratulations, contestant two. Let's move on to round two. Let's get ready for the next word. The word is exception. <coughs> okay. Okay, contestant number one, are you ready? Well, I think the suffix has to be T-I-O-N. If you say the word X, sep, shun, the shun part is T-I-O-N. So that must be the suffix. Alrighty, cont contestant two, what do you have to say? Well, I say that I, the suffix here is I-O-N again. Just look at my wood sum. If I peel off the I-O-N, I'm left with the base word E-X-C-E-P-T. The word accept means to leave out. Exception is a situation in which something is being left out. The two words share meaning. All right, judges, is the suffix T-I-O-N or I-O-N? Once again, we've been listening very carefully by the Evans provided by each our two contestants. If we write a word sum for each word, this is what we see. Contestant one claims that the base is E-X-C-E-P and the suffix is T-I-O-N. Contestant two claims that the base is E-X-C-E-P-T and the suffix is I-O-N. With contestant one's word sum, the base E-X-C-E-P 
doesn't really have any meaning. We couldn't find it in any of our research books, and the base word always has meaning. With contestants two words, so we can make the following matrix with the base word except. We can make the following words exceptional, exception, accepting, and even unexceptional. With contestant one's words, so we can't make any words that make sense because the base doesn't make sense. I think we've proven that the T is part of the base and not the suffix. It looks like contestant two is our winner once again. I'm confused. Are you saying that TI1 and SI1 are not suffixes at all? Yes, I am. I've never come across where both of those are the clear suffix. Have you looked at every word in the universe? No, of course not. But I have a very long list of words that I want as the clear suffix. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our lightning round. Woo! We will show you each a word. You must quickly identify the suffix and prove how you know it. If you are right, you will hear the bell. If you are wrong, you'll hear the buzzer. Are you ready? Yes, yes we're, we're ready. ready. All right. Contestant two, since you won the first two rounds, you will go first. Your word is question. The suffix here is ION. The base word is QUEST. When you have a question, you are in search of or on a quest for an answer. Contestant one, your word is expression. Well, the suffix is ION. The base is EXPRESS. When you express your feelings, you're letting others know what they are. They can tell by the expression on your face. Contestant two, your word is revision. The suffix is I O N. The base word is R E V I S E. When when you make a revision, you are looking at your work again and making changes. You are revising it. Contestant one, your word is elevation. The suffix is ION. The base is E-L-E-V-A-T-E. -E. When you elevate something, you lift it up. When you measure elevation, you're measuring how high up something is. <laughs> Contestant two, your word is vibration. The suffix is I O N. The base is V R V I B R A T E. When you are, when you feel a vibration, you are feeling a quick back and forth movement from whatever object is vibrating. Hey. <laughs> Contestant one, your word is television. The suffix is ION. The base is T-E-L-E-V-I-S-E. -E. When a show is being televised, it is being seen in locations other than where the action is happening, and it is being seen on a television. That's it. We have finished our, our lightning round in a tie. <laughs> That means we'll have to have a tiebreaker run. Here is our challenge word. The word is motion. Contestant 
at one? What do you think? Well, it must have an I-O and suffix, so the base is M-O-T-E. Although, I don't think that's a real base word. I mean, what does it even mean? Contestant two, what are your thoughts? Well, this is a great word. In the word motion, I agree with my opponent. I-O-N is the suffix, and the base is M-O-T-E. M-O-T-E, if you do some research, M-O-T-E is meaning of moving and motion. It might look unfamiliar because it is a bound base, meaning it needs an affix to surface in a word. You'll recognize in words like emotion, locomotion, and motor. Sorry, contestant one, but it looks like contestant two is the winner of today's show. It may look like that to you, but I feel like the biggest winner. I now understand something that has been confusing me for years. I always thought that T-I-O-N and S-I-O-N were suffixes, but I've come to realize, but today I've come to realize that the S and T in those words are really just part of the base word. The suffix is simply I-O-N, and now I learn that there's such a thing as a base, bound base, too. Woohoo! Let's hear it for the suffix I-O-N! <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. And be sure to watch us next time when the topic is prefixes. Hi, Bob.